Welcome to The Price is Right. During the next hour, we are going to be spreading joy and happiness here on CBS, beginning with this first item up for bids on The Price is Right. It's a hammer. Relaxer One, a treeless hammock. That's up anywhere in the garden, on the terrace or indoors. And the fun of it is, it doesn't need trees. Relaxer One, the lazy bones dream. And to the winner of this hammock goes a supply of Majestic for year-round skin beauty. Five magnificent moisturizers. So rich in cocoa butter, they're almost sinful. Super rich moisturizers by Majestic. And one of you will be lying in that hammock at your home. One of you who bids nearest to the retail price without going over it. Now give me all your bids and dollars, Goyles. And Jennifer, I want the first bid of this day on our show to come from you. $250. $250. Nancy, what do you say? $300. $300. Candy, it's your bid. $261. She bids $251. $261. Yes. Sandy, give me your bid. $25. $325 is Sandy's bid. And the actual retail price of the hammock is $650. Sandy, you own the hammock. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Sandy. I am going to give you two choices. You can go back right now and lie down in your hammock and take it easy, or you can play a pricing game. Okay. You want to do that? Yes. Would you like to play a pricing game for what I have to show you right now? Sure. Just look at this prize, Sandy. A new car! Beautiful and designed for a clean, crisp road response to Monte Carlo by Chevrolet. It's equipped with body-side Molingo Red Guard, port mirrors, radial white stripe tires, bumper strips, bumper guards, and tilt steering wheel. Huh? Now, Sandy is telling me all about the importance of winning this car. She has been married just four months to a policeman whose name is Tim. And what did Tim tell you? He said I'd better come on the show and win him a car. <laughs> yes. And after four months, just four months, you certainly want to keep Tim happy. Definitely. Yes, in ten years, you'd say, oh, forget it. But now you want to go home with the car. Right, he's a lot bigger than I am. Is he? He's six foot four and weighs about 250 pounds. I kind of hope she wins myself. <laughs> All right. All you have to do is win the lucky seven game played on this board right here. Now, behind that first door is the first number in the price of the car. The second door has the second number and so on. Here are seven $1 bills. Do you know how to play the game? No. Well, I'm going to ask you the first number, and I hope you tell me exactly right because you keep all the money. Then the second number. Each time you make a mistake, each time you're not exactly right, you must give me $1 for each number you are away. After you've gone through all four numbers in the price of the car, if you have even $1 remaining, you can buy this car for that one dollar, and where do you live? In Upland. In Upland, and I can drive through Upland safely. Okay. Now, Sandy, what's the first number in the price of the car? Five. She says that first number is a five. Is she right? She is right. She is right. Yes. 
That policeman is proud of that choice. What about the second number? Seven. The second number is a seven. Show us. Well, that's not bad. That cost you two dollars. Two dollars? Kind of fun finding a policeman's wife. Now, the third number in the price of the car. Two. Number two. Ooh, I hope it is. Show us that third number. Ooh, that's expensive. That's four dollars. Now, if I have six dollars, how many do you have? One. And if you need one dollar to buy this car, you are presented with one and only one possibility of winning. What is that possibility? If I get the number right. Exactly right. Now, I suggest that for just a moment, you meditate. Just put everything else out of your mind. Now, let a number come to you. Slow. Slow. And the number is? Three. Number three. Show us that number. Oh, my. Well, Sandy, I think, well, maybe maybe in the, in the showcase showdown, you can win $1,000. It'll save your marriage. Fine. Okay. I wish she had won that time. But she didn't. However, we have a possibility of five winners before we're through today, and we're going to be back with more action after this. During that commercial, I was talking with Jay Wolford, our producer, and Jennifer, I understand that you are not here at the show alone. Is that right? Right. Where is your bear? Oh. Oh, hold it up. Look at this. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Did you have a, does it have a ticket? Yes. Does he have yes. a ticket? That's marvelous. What's his name? Grizzly Mancini, because he composed the song we sang for your show. Grizzly Mancini. Well, that's great. Yes, I love it. Johnny, is he on the list of contestants by any chance? Not Grizzly, Bob, but well, who, who is the next Ruth contestant? Ruth Russell, come on down. You're the next contestant on the Friday night. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. May I have that for just a moment? Here's one of Grizzly Mancini's cubs right here, you see. <laughs> Ruth has. Okay, girls, if you'll look at this, I'm going to ask you to bid on it. The next item up for bids and the price is right. It's a model ship. A modern replica of the ancient mariner, hand fashioned of chrome. For anyone who dreams of going down to the sea in ships, this is a true work of art, measuring approximately four feet long, three feet high. Ruth, give me your bid on that, please. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Jennifer, what do you say? Um. Um, 601. 601, Nancy. Um, 450. 450 dollars. Candy? 495. 495. Uh-oh. Now, all of you have overbid, and listen very carefully to me, contestants. Nancy, please listen to me. The lowest bid is 450 dollars. Now, I am not going to correct you if you bid over that. You're on your own. I'm not going to help you play the game. 450 is the lowest bid. Erase these bids, please. Bid lower than 450. Ruth. 350. $350. Jennifer, what do you bid? 400. $400. Nancy? 301. 301. Candy? 375. $375. And again, you have overbid. The lowest bid, girls, you better listen. Hey, the lowest bid is 301. You better listen, Jennifer. I'm not going to help you. The lowest bid is 301. Bid lower than 301. Ruth, erase these bids, please. Two hundred. Two hundred dollars. All right, Jennifer. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Nancy. Two fifty. Her bid is two fifty, and Candy's bid is two sixty-one. Two sixty-one. The actual retail price is two hundred and fifty-three dollars. Nancy, come on up here, please. Nancy is going. What'd you say? I said it didn't start out too well, but now it's okay. And now things are going better. You're a stretch runner. That's the story, Nancy. Look what you can win now. A canopy chrome bed and a wash commode. First, the Sugar Hill furniture that commode has a marble top where the wash bowl and pitcher would be placed. On cold mornings, ice would form. This is where breaking the ice originated from Sugar Hill Furniture. And second is a canopy chrome bed. 
Stretcher Manufacturing, a strong canopy better distinction, sleek, sophisticated, corner post and the polished chrome alloy mirror base that your years of glittering beauty. Also from Drexler, this custom head panel and coordinated spread designed especially for this bed in luxurious suede velvet that's treated with Scotch guard from Drexler. And if you win this bed, you'll also receive this mattress set. King Coil Foster Bond Sleep Sets have bonded construction designed to provide firm body support with comfort. King Coil Foster Bond. Bob? And Nancy, you're going to play the clock game. That's what you're going to do. She's out here visiting in California from New York, she says. What do you do back in New York? I'm a nurse. I wish I'd had you here when I had that bee sting the other day. I know. I just told my friends you're lucky to have you here today. Yes. You're such a pretty little thing. Maybe you should come back in my dressing room and have a look at it anyway, uh, just to see if uh, there's any chance of a relax. Now, you're going to bid on the uh, commode first, and only the commode. Win that as fast as you can. With the time remaining on the 30-second timer, you're going after the other prize. Now, show the price of the commode, please. And uh, they know how much the wash commode is, but you do not. And I will start the clock with your first bid, Nancy. Go. 300. Higher. 400. Lower. Uh, 350. Lower. 325. Lower. 310. Lower. 301, 302, 303, 4, 5. There it is. <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? I've watched people so long, I don't know just what to do. Okay. You do know just what to do, and you did it very well. You can give me an EKG anytime. <laughs> now, you have about 21 and a quarter seconds left, and let me explain now that you're going after the canopy bed and spread, and the mattress will be included, but don't include the mattress in the price that you bid. You'll get the mattress. Let's show that price, please. And, Nancy, the clock will start with your first bid. 900. Lower. 800. Lower. 700. Higher. 750. Higher. 775. Higher. 780. Higher. 790. Higher. 791. There you are. 792. I recommend her as nurse of the year. Nurse of the year, Nancy. Thank you. Gee, she played that game well. Didn't you? We'll get another good player, I hope. After this. The name of our next participant is Carol Elliott. Come on down. You're the next contestant. Hello, Carol Elliott. How you doing? It's a pleasure to have you with us. Step over there in front of that microphone so the whole world can hear as you tell me where you're from. High Point, North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> And I hope you're having a nice stay out here in very, California. Very nice. Well, I very might nice. be able to make it even nicer if you give me just the right bid on this next item up for bids in our show. A microwave oven. Let me seal in one microwave oven. A cooking breakthrough. Now you can cook one, two, or three foods at the same time, even a complete meal. Wholemeal cooking at the touch of a finger from Litton. Carol, what do you bid on that prize? $450. $450. Candy. $379. $379. dollars i like your bid. You give nice, interesting bids. $251. <laughs> and $450. They're not right, I know, but they're fun. $379. What do you bid, Ruth? $550. $550. And now, Jennifer, give me your bid. $551. Her bid is $551. And the actual retail price is $599. <laughs> Jennifer. Come on up here, Jennifer. Right back here to me. Now, Jennifer, I know you have Grizzly Man Cini out there cheering you on, and I hope he helps you win this. A TV projection system. From Century Projection Systems, this technologically superb giant screen television projection unit with incredible clarity, control, and brilliance. From Century Projection Systems. It's a prize worth $2,000. Now, Jennifer, we have added some new prizes to uh, new games to our repertoire, and this is one of the newer ones. It's called Secret X. Have you ever seen it? I don't think so. Well, all you have to do is get three X's in a row across this board or diagonally on the board. 
the ups and downs where that doesn't count. It has to be across or diagonal. Now, there are four X's involved. One is the secret X. It's behind one of these squares here in the center. And you can use that, of course. You see? Now, I'm going to give you a free X to put wherever you wish. That is, on any one of the white squares. Now, when you place that, keep in mind that you have a chance to win two more X's. So put it someplace where, if you should get two more X's, you can use the secret X most advantageously. Go right ahead. Put it on one of the white squares. All right, that's a good choice. Now, you can win prizes as you win X's. And these are the prizes. Johnny? A Mr. Coffee coffee maker. Joe DiMaggio says Mr. Coffee with exclusive coffee saver saves coffee saves money. And Pollen X Dial Massage, the pulsating shower head that lets you choose from four different shower heads in one for four great feelings. Now, I'm going to start with a coffee maker there. There's a price of $30 and there's a price of $50. One is right, one is wrong. What's the right price? 30 the $30, she says, is the right price. Does she win? No. That's $50. Well, what about the massage here now? $55 or $30? $30. $30? Let's see. Does she get another X? Yes, she does. She's still in the game. Now, you, you put that. Now, remember, three across or three diagonally. So put that where you can uh, win. Okay, you had two choices there. You could have put it there and tried to win diagonally. You could have put it up there and tried to win across. Let's hope you've done the right thing. Where is that secret X? Right where she wants it. She has won. You're a good secret X player. And we're all ready now for the showcase showdown. We'll have it after these words. Here they are, all ready to spin the wheel, beginning with Sandy. Step over there, spin that wheel, get one dollar, win a thousand dollars. Sandy gave us one of the best spins of the week here. And look what's coming over the top. That's 70 going to get down here? No, 45 cents. Now, if you spin again and go over one dollar, you're out of the game. Are you going to spin again or not? You, she's going to risk that. I think that was a good choice. I would have done the same thing, Sandy. 45 cents in her first spin. She would love to have 55 cents come down here, but it's not. It's going to be 20. 65 cents total is not a bad score. She's trying to make a comeback here and save her marriage to that young policeman. Okay, spin it. 65 cents is what you have to beat, Nancy. Will she do it? Will Nancy beat that 65 cents? She might. She might get 80. She did it. She did it. Yep. Okay, Sandy has to step aside. Here's Nancy with 80 cents. And here's Jennifer with a turn to spin that wheel. And here goes that wheel. Beat 80 cents and you're in the showcase at the end of the show. If you don't, Nancy's in the showcase at the end of the show. You need another spin. 50 cents. Give it a go. Get that 50 cents again and you win $1,000. Will we have Jennifer in the showcase, or will we have Nancy? 50 cents in her first spin. Oh, this came too late. Dollar and a half. Thank you. Nancy, you did it. Our little nurse here who played that clock game so well. We'll be in the showcase right now. Let's watch this. You think I'm doing my Napoleon uh, imitation? Not so. I had a little drink during that commercial and spilled it all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Johnny, I want another contestant out of this studio audience, please. All right, Bob, how about James Montgomery? Come on down. Look at him. All you did was tell him, come on down. He thinks he's a double showcase winner already, you see, my dear? I'm in trouble. Let's find out how well he bids on this next item up for bids on our show. It's a kitchen island. A Riviera Center with slide out shelves, cutting board, bread storage compartment, featuring solid oak construction with hand rough finish from Riviera. And to the winner of this kitchen island goes a supply of Staley syrup, the all natural syrup. No preservatives, nothing artificial. Staley syrup with a rich country maple flavor that naturally tastes better. 
The champion will bid first. Jane? Four seventy-five. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars. What do you bid, Carol? Four eighty-five. Four eighty-five. Candy? Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Ruth? One dollar is Ruth's bid, and the actual retail price is seven hundred and fifty dollars. You won. Come on, Candy. Let's get back here and have fun winning prizes. You made it at last. That's right. One of the first four contestants. Here she is, and look what she can win. Bourbon barrel furniture. Fifteen-piece Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Group from Brothers Furniture Company. Handcrafted from genuine bourbon barrels and upholstered with handsome earth tone vinyl. Your Brothers Furniture Group includes a sofa, armchair, end table, coffee table, game table, four swivel chairs, and a five-piece bar set. And you win them all if you stop the $150 rangefinder when the price of the prize is in this colored area and you stop it by pressing this button. That's all there is to it. It's so easy. Start that range finder up that scale. There it goes. Now, the price does not have to be in the center. It can be any place in that colored area. Audience, help me. They'll help you. Don't worry. This is one game where you can depend on a lot of help. Let's just hope they know what they're talking about. Do you have a price in mind? And she stopped it. Now, let's hope that that price is someplace in that colored area. Light it up, please. It is. It's 1788, and you've won that furniture. Thank you. And I got a nice gift. A pretty little girl with a true prize. And there is more prizes right coming up. Stay tuned for more pricing games in the fabulous showcases coming up on the second half of The Price is Right. I was just talking with Carol here. He sells corrugated boxes back yes, in North Carolina? In Nassau, Kentucky. And what are you doing out here in California, Carol? Visiting. Who are you visiting? Uh, my friend's son that's in medical school. Aha. Is he a southerner? Yes, sir. Have you two found any place to get grits here in Hollywood? <laughs> We're still looking. Are you still looking? still looking? Listen, I was down in Charleston, South Carolina, and I had grits, and they are good. Yes, they are good. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, Carol. Yes, sir. After the show, let's have a little uh, talk. You and right, I sir. might start a fast food grits place here right. in Hollywood. <laughs> Sounds like a good, good idea? Sounds good. Bob. All right. Let's see if we can find a partner for the grits business, Johnny, please. All right, Bob, how about Saley Hash? Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Oh, I got her. I got her. You got her? Yeah. You know, I can... Oh, my God! Yes, Saley. She's a marvelous contestant, but I can take one look at her, and I'll bet she's never tasted grit. I have one. <laughs> she hasn't looked at she Where are you from, Sally? Where, where are you from originally? Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> now, you didn't start out in Chicago. Where were you born? Born in Thailand, Bangkok. Aha. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here from Thailand and Chicago. And here's the next item up for bids on The Price is Right. It's a set of luggage. From the Ventura collection, luggage is a soft manner to enhance any image with digital locks and scrubbable Duravinyl coverings for your carefree great escape. It's Ventura. Daly, what do you bid on that luggage? $300. $300. Ruth? $350. $350. Oh, James, give me a bid. Three five one. What is it? Three five one. And now we want to hear from the grits king of America. Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollars is his bid. The actual retail price of that prize is three hundred and fifty-six dollars, and James has come through. Oh, James! Yes. Yeah. Right over here, will you please, James? Yeah, 
James, after all that dancing around with the victory sign, you just about had to win your way up here. And let me tell you, James, you are really going to be dancing if you win this. A new car! A Chevelle Malibu, smart, complete, mid-size, sensible, balance of size and price, beauty and function. Chevelle Malibu by Chevrolet, equipped with body side molding, door edge guards, wheel covers, radial white stripe tires, bumper strip, bumper guard, vinyl roof, power brakes, and AM radio. Now, James, we call this game Temptation because I'm going to present you with a whole lot of nice prizes, and then I'm going to tempt you with that car. Now, this is the first prize. Listen. From Monet, a beautiful collection of jewelry, elegantly designed and crafted to complement my lady's wardrobe. From Monet, how much? $41. James, that four or that one is the first number in the price of that car. Which one is it? Four. He says the four, so we'll light up the four. And as I said, I have more prizes. Let's just see. Oh, yes, Johnny. Tell us about this. It's a candle extinguisher in quality silver plate, specially tarnished treated for dining buffet and other occasions. Regal reproductions from Corbell Collection of Antique Silver. You know, it's a candle extinguisher, $18. When I first saw that, I thought it was a jigger with a long handle. <laughs> you want to put the eight or the one up there as the next number in the price that car. A number eight for James right there, please, gentlemen. And these are yours now, James. For the moment, they're yours. I want you to look them over and decide whether you want to risk losing them and go after that car after you see all the prizes. Hey, Johnny, what do we have here? We have General Electric, who will give you the silent precision of electronic timekeeping and a full-featured digital clock radio with easy-to-read LED time display. And that is $68, and you know what I want to know, don't you, James? Which one is it? The next number in the price of the car. The six or the eight is the next number. Uh, boy. Six. Six. Okay, a six for James. And James, just look what I have coming out here now. Ooh, a nice pair of things. Johnny? The dependable Maytag heavy-duty washer built to last longer and need fewer repairs. And big load dryer with a big drum and the big door for the big load from the Maytag company. And the price here is $800. An eight or a zero belongs here. Which one? Zero. A zero right here, please. Now, you say that car is $4,860. Of course, you took the numbers from the prices of these gifts. Now, you may change any one or all of them, or you may leave it as it is. What do you say? You're going to leave it alone, okay? Now, I have presented you with $927 worth of gifts. And just as I said, they are yours. As of this moment, you own all of this. You can leave it that way, or you can try to win the car. Now, if you have every single number right, James, you win the car and these gifts, too. But if you've made even one mistake, you don't win the car, and you lose these. Now, what do you want to do? Mm, boy. What are you going to do, James? I want the car. I want this, too. I had a feeling that's how you felt about this situation. You want the car, and you want these, too. I'm going all the way. You're going all the way. All right, James. I know that all of us... Stick around here now. I know that all of us hope you've done the right thing. I think that four is right. And it is. Now, I don't know about the eight. Let's see. That's right, too. I am going to check the six, and there it is. James, do you know how close we are now? Yeah, right there. Now, that is a zero, or it is a, an eight. If it's a zero, you win. It, I hope that is a zero, James. Come here now, James. Come back here. Stick around here now, James. I hope that is a zero. Man, that's a good-looking car, James. And it's yours if that's a zero. All right, everybody, here it is a zero. There goes James. He's circling me. All around. 
Who's next, Johnny? Who's next? It's Edwin Hebda. Come on down. You're the next contestant. Edwin didn't have to come down. Edwin is right there. And now, here's the next item up for Vision Art Show. It's a sailboat. Oh. The AMFL Fort Sun Theater, fiberglass hall, that withstands the elements better. Great fun for the entire family. A boat that can be carried on your car top. It's the Sunfish. Edwin, what do you bid on the boat? Uh, 9.75. He bids 9.75. Carol. 9.85. Carol. 9.85. 7.50. 7.50. Ruth. 6.25. Her bid is 6.25, and the actual retail price is $832. Sorry, it's a little. Sorry, come over here to me. My little friend from Thailand. Yes. So, yes, you can get in your boat and go back to Thailand for a visit. Now, Sally, let me show you what you can win next. A camping trailer. <laughs> the Coleman Valley Ford Street Fix has three testing galleries, three trailer cooktops, stainless steel sinks, three-way icebox. The Valley Ford offers you over 19 feet from Coleman, and a surprise worth. $2,295. And Sally is going to play our bullseye game. Now, Sally, I want you to listen very carefully as Johnny tells you about all these products here on this counter. Johnny? Luton's Fifth Avenue candy bar. Crunchy peanut butter, real milk chocolate, too. The bite that's right, that's Fifth Avenue. Crazy Foam, famous children's foam soap that bounces, molds, and floats. Makes it fun to take a bath from Crazy Foam. Easy Off Window Cleaner gives professional results at home. Easy Off cuts through tough grease and grime without streaking. Easy Off. La Choy Soy Sauce, America's favorite for basting chicken, marinating steaks, seasoning hamburgers, and all meats. Delicious soy sauce from La Choy. And Bon Ami Polishing Cleanser, recommended by major manufacturers of cookware, fixtures, and appliances. Cleans without scratching. Bon Ami Polishing Cleanser. Now, there are a couple of ways you can win, but let's do it the easy way. You pick out one product, Buy enough of it to total five to six dollars, and you've hit the bullseye. Okay. I want a candy bar. Please. How many? Let's see. Twenty. Twenty of the candy bars. Each one is fifteen cents. How much is twenty? Three dollars. So I'm going to put a candy marker right there on the three dollars. Now, you missed with that shot. Take another with one of the other products. Uh, I want a large soy sauce. The soy sauce. How many for five to six dollars? Uh, about ten. Ten of them. Okay. How much is the sauce? Fifty-seven cents. How much is ten? Five seventy, and you win. Our contestants are going to spin the big wheel now, and a contestant who gets one dollar on the big wheel. Gets a big $1,000 bill. That's what that contestant gets for that $1. One spin or two spins. Now, there are certain other rules. For example, the wheel must go all the way around at least once in order to qualify. Another rule, if you use two spins, and that's the most you can use, and you go over $1, you're out of the game. The contestant who is nearest to $1 without going over is in the showcase at the end of the show, and a lot of nice things can happen there. Of course, some pretty nice things have already happened to one young man down here in a blue outfit, and he agrees. You've won a car, and you won $927 worth of gifts, and your prize to come up on stage, and you're going to have a chance to win $1,000. And Sally here, who hit the bullseye, is going to have a chance to win $1,000 to take back to Chicago with her. And Candy, I'm going to let you spin first and get the first $1,000 bill. Okay. Here you go. Big spin now, so it goes all the way around at least once. Big spin. Oh, Candy, I hope that makes it. 
I hope it makes it. It might be just right. It made it. We have more of those. Step over there and get yourself a thousand dollar. Big spin now, Sally. Hard. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now you get two spins. So let's see what you have in your first one. Seventy-five cents. All right. Big spin now. And you have to get a quarter in this one. Twenty-five cents, and that'll do it. Seventy-five cents. And 65 cents. Well, you've already won a boat and a camper. You've had a good day here, Thank Sally. You. And we've had fun having you here. Now, here comes the big daddy of the Price is Right today. Winner of a car, $927 worth of prizes. He's going to do his famous one-hand spin. No, he's using both hands. Here's James Finn. Got to have a dollar. That's the only thing that will help you here, James. Now that was going around there, was it going hard enough? It's coming up on the back, it's coming around, it's, no, it's not gonna make it. 30 cents, spin it again, James. And let's hope for 70 cents for old James. 30 cents in his first spin. There it goes, now let's see. It's going around there, it's coming up, it's coming over the top, it's up on top, it's trying, no, it's not 30, you're hung up on 30 cents. James, drive carefully. Candy, Candy here is going to be, you don't have to thank me, thanks for good fortune. You did that all on your own. Candy's going to be in that showcase, and you know when you'll have that. Right now. Our top winner in the showcase, Candy, is mumbling excitedly about the $1,000 she has won. And Nancy over here is the runner-up in the showcase. Now, each of you will have a showcase of lovely prizes to bid on. The one of you who bids closer to the retail price of her own showcase will win everything in the showcase. But if you are the winner and you are less than $100 away from the retail price of your own showcase, of course, you win everything in both showcases. And here we've had five out of six winners. What an exciting way of winding up the show. Five out of six winners, a $1,000 bonus, and a double showcase winner. Oh, boy, here's the first showcase. A new dining room. Brownstone by Bassett. Tiffany Oak Minis on Oak Towers and Veneers and Selected Hardwood. China Base, Brown Pedestal Table and Four Windsor Side Chairs from Bassett. And for a lovelier table, this stoneware. A Rita stoneware from one of Japan's most respected manufacturers. Beautifully handcrafted yet highly durable, your 87-piece Arita set makes up a full service for 12. And to add color to any room, this carpeting. Forty square yards of down's newest creation, Misty Isle. A cut and loop carpet with an elegant silky sheen and a classic appearance. Soft two-tone colorations, truly unique in appearance and in many colors by down. And finally, your whole family will enjoy this baby grand piano. A magnificent table, baby grand piano. Elegant walnut styling and quality tone. A truly fine piano. Built by the Aeolian Corporation, the Cable Baby Grand, fine craftsmanship and performance. And this showcase can be yours if the price is right. Candy, as the top winner in the showcase, do you wish to bid or pass? I think I'll pass this one. You are going to pass this one to Nancy, and Nancy is going to bid? $3,100. $3,100 on that showcase. And now, Candy, this is your showcase. Your showcase is a salute to that great entertainer, Charlton Heston. And it contains prizes associated with his most famous film, and probably as most famous as this one, Ben-Hur. And so appropriately enough, we offer you this truly unusual prize. It's a chariot bar. <laughs> Rome was never like this. The chariot made of wood, brass, and leather, all hand-decorated. Plenty of storage space for mixers and utensils. What a way to go. And now here's Heston in a scene from the film that really made him a star, The Ten Commandments, a film partially set in the country you'll be visiting, Israel! We'll find two of the round trip air 
Coast from Los Angeles to Israel for a week's stay at two great hotels. Your first three nights will be at the Jerusalem Hilton, located on the highest point in Jerusalem with dramatic views of both the old and new city. Then, a three-night stay at the Tel Aviv Hilton, where you can relax and luxuriate by the Mediterranean Sea. Now, here's Heston in another historical epic, El Cid, the national hero of the country that you'll be visiting, Spain! <laughs> Spain for his six-night and seven-day stay at the luxury Holiday Inn Resort on the beach in Malaga, capital of the beautiful Costa del Sol in Southern Spain. And finally, one more historical figure portrayed by Hessen, this time he's Michelangelo in the agony and the ecstasy. And you'll have a chance to see some of Michelangelo's handiwork on your trip to Rome! <laughs> Yes, it's on the road for a week's stay, including continental breakfast at the Hotel Mediterraneo, right in the center of Rome. You'll enjoy a large, elegantly decorated room with a refrigerated bar and modern marble bath, the Hotel Mediterraneo, a deluxe Patoya Hotel of Rome. And this showcase, the salute to that great entertainer, Charles and Heston, can be yours if the price is right. Andy, what do you bid on this showcase? Six thousand five hundred and twenty-nine. Six thousand five hundred and twenty-nine. One of the most scientific bids I've ever had. Now Nancy's bid on her showcase was three thousand one hundred dollars. And Nancy, the actual retail price of your showcase is six thousand ninety-nine dollars. A difference of two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Candy must be closer than two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars without going over. Her bid is $6,529, and the actual retail price of your showcase is $6,986. You win. You have won $10,568 worth of prizes. Bob Barker saying goodbye, everybody. Speaking for the price is right. A Mark Goodson, Bill Potman production. Stay tuned for Love of Life. Next, over most of these CBS stations.